G'day, I'm Mrs. Dow, and welcome to Mrs. Dow's Art Room. Here's today's lesson. This lesson is Zentangle Names. The first thing you want to do is write your name or a special word on a piece of paper or something you can draw on. You can use a pencil to do the first part, and then if you have a pen or a fine liner or a marker, something like that, you can switch to that later. I'm going to use the word art. You can write it a little bit crazy, you can write it neat, you could write it in a curve. It's really up to you. Once you've done that, you can switch to a fine liner or a pen to do the next part. This activity should take a while and you might not finish it all in one sitting. But we're going to do a bubble writing around our word and then we'll erase the letters later. So your bubble writing could be square or round, it can be a little bit crazy um, and look a bit like graffiti words. It's really up to you. So this one over here where I did name is kind of square writing. So what I might do for this one is do some really round bubble writing. So to do bubble writing, I basically go around your letters without touching them, creating a bubble around the letter. You can have your letters touching each other if you want to. really up to you. So once you've done this we're going to split the page up and use a heap of different designs and patterns to decorate it. You can either decorate the outside or the inside of your letters. For this one I decorated around my letters by drawing some random lines to separate everything. This time I'm going to actually decorate inside my word and leave the outside blank. So I can separate that any way I like. You could use a ruler or you could just draw some random lines. I'm going to just separate mine using some curved lines. What about three or four segments at least in each letter? Just so that you can fit a few different patterns. Might even add an extra one over here since that looks like a little shape anyway. Alright, you can use some of my patterns that I have in this grid or you can create your own. I'm just going to take our time here. So what I'll do is speed up this video so that you can see how I add my patterns and designs. there we are. The idea with these is the finer or the smaller the details are, the more effective it's going to look. I hope you have fun. This is meant to be a little bit of a mindfulness activity. So you can use it to keep yourself calm or to help you get focused before you start your work. Um, but really great fun to do. Thank you so much, my amazing art students.